The Teachings of Nichiren Daishonin, Unlocking the Profound Doctrine Nichiren Daishonin, the revered founder of Nichiren Buddhism, introduced a profound and revolutionary doctrine that shook the foundations of traditional Buddhist thought during his lifetime in 13th century Japan. His incompromising dedication to the Lotus Sutra and his unwavering belief in its universal validity set him apart from his contemporaries. This chapter delves into the core tenets of Nichiren's teachings, illuminating the essence of his profound doctrine. The Supremacy of the Lotus Sutra Central to Nichiren's teachings is the absolute supremacy of the Lotus Sutra, a sacred Buddhist text that he believed encapsulated the ultimate truth of Buddhism. In his celebrated work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren declares, The Lotus Sutra is the highest of all the sutras, and the wonderful Dharma of the One Vehicle is its essence. This bold assertion challenged the prevailing belief in the provisional nature of the Lotus Sutra, which was widely considered inferior to other Buddhist teachings. Nichiren adamantly rejected the notion of a hierarchy among the sutras, asserting that the Lotus Sutra alone represented the ultimate teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha. He believed that the Lotus Sutra contained the profound truth of Buddhism, which had been obscured and distorted over time. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren proclaimed, The Lotus Sutra alone is the true intention of Shakyamuni Buddha, and all the other sutras are mere preparations for its teachings. The Dai Moku and the Gohanzen Nichiren's doctrine also emphasizes the central role of the Dai Moku, the sacred invocation of Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, which translates to devotion to the mystic law of the Lotus Sutra. This chant, derived from the essential teachings of the Lotus Sutra, is seen as the embodiment of the ultimate reality and the means to attain enlightenment. In his writing, the Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren states, the Dai Moku is the essence of the Lotus Sutra, and the Lotus Sutra is the quintessence of the Buddhist teachings. This profound assertion highlights the significance of the Dai Moku in Nichiren's teachings, as it is believed to encapsulate the entirety of the Buddha's enlightenment. Closely tied to the Dai Moku is the concept of the Gohanzen, the sacred scroll that Nichiren inscribed as the object of devotion for his followers. The Gohanzen is revered as the embodiment of the ultimate truth expressed in the Lotus Sutra and the physical manifestation of the Buddha's enlightenment. Nichiren emphasized the importance of faith in the Gohanzen, stating in his writings, the Gohanzen is the essence of the Buddha's enlightenment, and the Dai Moku is the essence of the Lotus Sutra. The Doctrine of Three Thousand Realms in a Single Moment of Life Another pivotal aspect of Nichiren's teachings is the doctrine of three thousand realms in a single moment of life, which speaks to the interconnectedness and inherent potential within all beings. This profound concept asserts that every single moment of life encompasses the entirety of the universe, encompassing all realms of existence, from the most enlightened state to the most deluded. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren expounds, the three thousand realms in a single moment of life means that within the life of each person there are always the three thousand realms, the realms of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and ordinary beings. This doctrine challenges the notion of a hierarchical separation between sentient beings and encourages individuals to recognize their inherent Buddha nature and the potential for enlightenment within themselves. The Five Guides and the Transmission of the Law Nichiren's teachings also place great emphasis on the concept of the Five Guides, which outlines the succession of teachers responsible for preserving and transmitting the true teachings of Buddhism. According to Nichiren, the Five Guides are 1. The Buddha Shakyamuni, the founder of Buddhism. 2. Taho Buddha, the mythical Buddha who first expounded the Lotus Sutra. 3. Bodhisattvas Jogyo and Muhengyo, the key protagonists in the Lotus Sutra who propagated its teachings. 4. The Venerable Nagaryuna, the renowned Buddhist philosopher who elucidated the true meaning of the Lotus Sutra. 5. Nichiren Daishonin himself, who revealed and propagated the true teachings of the Lotus Sutra in the latter days. In his work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren asserts, the transmission of the law has been entrusted to the five guides, and I am the leader of the propagation in the latter days. 
This doctrine highlights Nichiren's conviction that he was the rightful heir to the true teachings of Buddhism, charged with reviving and spreading the essence of the Lotus Sutra in an age of spiritual decline. The Latter Day of the Law and the Persecution of Nichiren Nichiren's teachings also address the concept of the Latter Day of the Law, a period of spiritual darkness and strife when the true teachings of Buddhism would be obscured and persecuted. Nichiren believed that he was living in this prophesied era and that it was his mission to revive the true essence of the Lotus Sutra and lead humanity back to enlightenment. In his writing, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren declares, In the latter day of the law, the true teachings will be lost, and those who practice the correct teachings will face persecution. This belief was borne out in Nichiren's own life, as he faced numerous trials and tribulations, including exile and attempts on his life, for his unwavering devotion to the Lotus Sutra and his determination to propagate its teachings. Despite the persecution and hardships he endured, Nichiren remained steadfast in his faith and conviction, asserting in his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, No matter what persecutions or tortures I may face, I will never abandon my faith in the Lotus Sutra. This unyielding spirit and unwavering commitment to the true teachings of Buddhism are hallmarks of Nichiren's profound legacy. The Eternal Validity of the Lotus Sutra Underpinning Nichiren's teachings is the belief in the eternal validity and universal applicability of the Lotus Sutra. He rejected the notion that the Buddha's teachings were subject to temporal or geographical limitations, asserting that the Lotus Sutra represented the ultimate and timeless truth transcending all boundaries. In his work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren proclaims, The Lotus Sutra is the highest and most profound teaching of the Buddha, and its validity is eternal and universal. This belief in the timelessness and universality of the Lotus Sutra's teachings formed the bedrock of Nichiren's doctrine and his mission to propagate its essence to all people, regardless of their circumstances or backgrounds. The Legacy and Significance of Nichiren's Teachings Nichiren's teachings left an indelible mark on the Buddhist tradition, challenging conventional wisdom and reigniting a fervent devotion to the Lotus Sutra. His unwavering commitment to the supremacy of the Lotus Sutra and his belief in the inherent potential for enlightenment within all beings have inspired generations of followers and influenced the development of Nichiren Buddhism. The profundity of Nichiren's doctrine lies in its emphasis on the interconnectedness of all existence, the recognition of the Buddha nature within every individual, and the empowerment of individuals to take an active role in their spiritual development. By embracing the teachings of the Lotus Sutra and chanting the Dai Moku, Nichiren believed that one could tap into the boundless wisdom and compassion of the universe, transcending the limitations of ordinary existence. In essence, Nichiren's teachings offer a path to spiritual awakening and personal transformation, challenging individuals to confront their own delusions and embrace the universal truth embodied in the Lotus Sutra. His unwavering dedication to propagating this profound doctrine, even in the face of persecution and adversity, serves as a testament to the power of faith and the enduring relevance of the Buddha's teachings in the modern world. The Transformative Power of Faith and Practice Central to Nichiren's teachings is the belief that faith and dedicated practice hold the key to unlocking one's inherent Buddha nature and achieving enlightenment. Nichiren emphasized the transformative power of chanting the Dai Moku and embracing the Gohanzen with unwavering faith and sincerity. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren states, If you chant the Dai Moku with firm faith and unwavering resolve, you will definitely attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. This assertion underscores Nichiren's conviction that the path to enlightenment is accessible to all, regardless of one's circumstances or background, through the sincere and diligent practice of his teachings. Nichiren's teachings also stress the importance of cultivating a steadfast and courageous spirit, akin to that of a lion. In his work, The Risho Ankoku Ran, he exhorts his followers to roar the Dai Moku like a lion, and to fearlessly uphold the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, even in the face of adversity and persecution. This emphasis on unwavering faith, dedicated practice, and a resolute spirit reflects Nichiren's belief in the transformative power of his teachings. By chanting the Dai Moku, embracing the Gohanzen, 
and cultivating a lion spirit, individuals can tap into the boundless wisdom and compassion of the universe, transcending the limitations of their ordinary existence and paving the way towards enlightenment. The Bodhisattva Ideal and the Embrace of Suffering Nichiren's teachings also emphasize the Bodhisattva Ideal, which encourages individuals to embark on a path of selfless service and compassion for the sake of all beings. In his writing, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren extols the virtues of the Bodhisattvas, stating, The Bodhisattvas are those who have vowed to attain enlightenment not only for themselves but for the sake of all sentient beings. This Bodhisattva spirit is embodied in Nichiren's willingness to endure immense suffering and persecution for the sake of propagating the true teachings of the Lotus Sutra. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, he declares, I have endured countless persecutions and hardships for the sake of the Lotus Sutra, but I will never abandon my faith, even if it costs me my life. Nichiren's teachings encourage his followers to embrace suffering and adversity as opportunities for spiritual growth and the cultivation of compassion. In his work, The Risho Ankoku Ran, he states, Suffering is the path to enlightenment, for it allows us to develop the compassion and wisdom necessary to liberate all beings from their delusions. This profound understanding of suffering as a catalyst for spiritual transformation reflects Nichiren's belief in the interconnectedness of all existence and the inherent potential for enlightenment within every individual. By embracing suffering with courage and resilience, individuals can deepen their understanding of the Buddha's teachings and develop the compassion and wisdom necessary to guide others towards enlightenment. The Harmonization of Theory and Practice Nichiren's teachings also emphasize the importance of harmonizing theory and practice, ensuring that one's actions align with the profound teachings of the Lotus Sutra. In his work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren exhorts his followers to not merely study the teachings but to put them into practice in their daily lives. This call to action reflects Nichiren's belief that true understanding and enlightenment cannot be achieved through intellectual pursuit alone. Rather, it is through the integration of theory and practice, the embodiment of the teachings in one's thoughts, words, and deeds, that individuals can truly unlock the transformative power of the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren's teachings encourage his followers to cultivate a life of integrity and virtue, aligning their actions with the principles of compassion, wisdom, and selfless service. In his treatise, The Risho Ankoku Ran, he states, the true practitioner of the Lotus Sutra is one who lives in harmony with its teachings, acting with compassion and wisdom in all aspects of their life. This emphasis on harmonizing theory and practice reflects Nichiren's conviction that the path to enlightenment is not merely an intellectual pursuit but a way of life, a profound transformation of one's entire being. By embodying the teachings of the Lotus Sutra in their daily actions, individuals can cultivate a deeper understanding of the Buddha's wisdom and pave the way for their own spiritual awakening. The Enduring Relevance of Nichiren's Teachings Nichiren's teachings, rooted in the profound wisdom of the Lotus Sutra, continue to resonate with individuals across the globe, transcending cultural and temporal boundaries. The universality of his message and the timeless relevance of his teachings have ensured their enduring significance in the modern world. In an age marked by spiritual uncertainty, societal upheaval, and environmental crises, Nichiren's teachings offer a beacon of hope and guidance. His emphasis on the interconnectedness of all existence, the inherent potential for enlightenment within every individual, and the transformative power of faith and practice hold profound relevance for those seeking meaning and purpose in a rapidly changing world. Nichiren's teachings also offer a path towards personal transformation and the cultivation of compassion, wisdom, and resilience, qualities that are crucial for navigating the complexities of contemporary life. By embracing the principles of the Lotus Sutra and embodying the Bodhisattva spirit, individuals can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose and contribute to the creation of a more harmonious and enlightened society. Moreover, Nichiren's teachings resonate with the growing global consciousness of environmental sustainability and the interconnectedness of all life on this planet. His doctrine of 3,000 realms in a single moment of life, which emphasizes the inherent unity and interdependence of all existence, 
provides a profound framework for understanding and addressing the environmental challenges we face today. As humanity grapples with the existential threats of climate change, biodiversity loss, and the depletion of natural resources, Nichiren's teachings offer a powerful reminder of our intrinsic connection to the natural world and the imperative to act with wisdom and compassion for the sake of all beings. In essence, Nichiren's teachings hold the promise of personal transformation, social harmony, and environmental stewardship, offering a holistic and enlightened approach to the pressing challenges of our time. Through the diligent practice of his teachings and the embodiment of the Bodhisattva spirit, individuals can unlock their inherent potential and contribute to the creation of a more enlightened and sustainable world. The Universal Embrace of Humanity One of the most profound aspects of Nichiren's teachings is its emphasis on the universal embrace of all humanity, regardless of race, social status, or background. Nichiren believed that the wisdom of the Lotus Sutra was meant for all people, transcending the barriers of class, caste, and social hierarchy that had long dominated Buddhist thought. In his seminal work, the Risho Ankoku Ran, Nichiren declares, the Lotus Sutra is a great light illuminating the path to enlightenment for all beings, without discrimination. This bold assertion challenged the prevailing belief that the highest teachings of Buddhism were reserved for a privileged few, such as monks and nobility. Nichiren's teachings rejected the notion of spiritual elitism, asserting that the potential for enlightenment existed within every individual, regardless of their circumstances or background. This democratic vision of Buddhism was a radical departure from the traditional hierarchies and exclusions that had characterized many schools of Buddhist thought. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren exhorts his followers to propagate the teachings of the Lotus Sutra to all people, without distinction of rank or social status. This call to action reflects Nichiren's belief that the transformative power of the Lotus Sutra should be accessible to all empowering individuals from all walks of life to embrace their inherent Buddha nature and embark on the path to enlightenment. Nichiren's inclusive approach to Buddhism resonated deeply with the common people of Japan, who had long been excluded from the higher teachings and practices of the Buddhist establishment. His teachings offered a beacon of hope and empowerment, inviting individuals from all backgrounds to unlock the wisdom and compassion embodied in the Lotus Sutra. This universal embrace of humanity not only challenged the rigid social structures of Nichiren's time but also laid the foundation for a more egalitarian and inclusive vision of Buddhism. By breaking down the barriers of privilege and exclusion, Nichiren's teachings paved the way for a more democratic and accessible spiritual path, one that celebrated the inherent worth and potential of every individual. The Transformative Power of Dialogue and Debate Nichiren's teachings also emphasize the transformative power of dialogue and debate as a means of deepening one's understanding of the Dharma and refining one's practice. Nichiren himself was a prolific writer and a fierce debater, engaging in numerous public discourses and exchanging letters with his followers and critics alike. In his work, The Kanjin no Hanzen Sho, Nichiren states, through dialogue and debate, we can clarify our understanding of the teachings and sharpen our resolve to practice them diligently. This assertion reflects Nichiren's belief that the pursuit of enlightenment is not a solitary journey but a collaborative process of inquiry, challenge, and growth. Nichiren encouraged his followers to engage in respectful yet rigorous debates, challenging one another's perspectives and deepening their collective understanding of the Lotus Sutra. He believed that through the crucible of discourse and intellectual exchange, individuals could refine their faith, fortify their resolve, and cultivate a more profound grasp of the Buddha's teachings. This emphasis on dialogue and debate also extended to Nichiren's interactions with other Buddhist schools and traditions. He was uncompromising in his conviction that the Lotus Sutra represented the highest and most complete expression of the Buddha's teachings, and he engaged in numerous public debates to defend and propagate his beliefs. While Nichiren's confrontational approach and unwavering stance often drew criticism and opposition, his willingness to engage in open and spirited discourse reflected his confidence in the truth and power of the Lotus Sutra's teachings. He believed that through respectful yet vigorous debate, the essence of the Dharma would ultimately prevail, 
and individuals would be compelled to embrace the profound wisdom and compassion embodied in the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren's emphasis on dialogue and debate not only fostered a vibrant intellectual tradition within his school of Buddhism but also encouraged a culture of critical inquiry and personal growth. By embracing the transformative power of discourse, individuals could deepen their understanding of the teachings, refine their practice, and cultivate the wisdom and resilience necessary to navigate the challenges of life with clarity and compassion. The Harmony of Religion and State Another significant aspect of Nichiren's teachings is his vision of a harmonious relationship between religious and secular authorities, where the teachings of the Lotus Sutra serve as a guiding force for the prosperity and well-being of society and the state. In his celebrated work, the Risho Ankoku Ran, Nichiren outlines his belief that the propagation of the true teachings of the Lotus Sutra is essential for the stability and flourishing of the nation. He asserts, when the Lotus Sutra is embraced and its teachings are upheld, the nation will prosper, and the people will enjoy peace and security. Nichiren's teachings recognize the interdependence between the spiritual and temporal realms, and he believed that the wisdom and compassion embodied in the Lotus Sutra should serve as a moral compass for social and political leaders. He advocated for a society governed by the principles of the Dharma, where leaders and citizens alike embraced the teachings of the Lotus Sutra and acted with wisdom, compassion, and reverence for all life. Nichiren's vision of a harmonious relationship between religion and state was not one of theocratic domination but rather a call for a mutually beneficial partnership. He believed that by upholding the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, rulers and officials could cultivate the virtues necessary for effective and benevolent leadership, while the state could provide an environment conducive to the propagation and practice of the Dharma. In his treatise, The Kanjin no Hanzen Shou, Nichiren exhorts rulers to embrace the teachings of the Lotus Sutra and govern with wisdom and compassion, ensuring the well-being of all citizens. This call to action reflects Nichiren's belief that the teachings of the Lotus Sutra could serve as a moral and ethical foundation for just and equitable governance. While Nichiren's vision of a harmonious relationship between religion and state may have been influenced by the socio-political realities of his time, his teachings continue to resonate with those seeking a balance between spiritual values and secular responsibilities. His emphasis on the interdependence of the spiritual and temporal realms offers a profound perspective on the role of religion in shaping a just and compassionate society, where the teachings of the Dharma serve as a guiding force for the well-being of all.